It's a little thing, but man, it drives me nuts. Let's figure out how to get rid of one of the weirdest little bugs in Adobe Photoshop 2021 on a Mac. Now there's no doubt I love Photoshop. Photoshop 2021 has got some amazing innovations in it, but there is a quirk in it going all the way back to Photoshop 2020, especially when you're working on a Mac and a Catalina in this case. And that is when you go to do a file overwrite of a image that you're working on, if I wanna save it as a JPEG, instead of overwriting the old image, it'll actually save a duplicate copy. Now, Adobe Premiere doesn't do this, After Effects doesn't do this, Illustrator doesn't do this. The only Adobe program that I have this issue is is in Adobe Photoshop. It's really annoying. I'm sure you've probably dealt with it. And I wanna show you a quick workaround that I discovered that maybe will save you some stress and get in there. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what I have here is I have a Photoshop file and now I'm gonna to go to save a copy. So when I save a copy, file save as, I have a depth director, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Hit okay. And now if I hide Photoshop, you'll see, no surprise, there it is, my JPEG, right in there. Well, let's say for some reason, I come back into Photoshop and I make an adjustment or a change, which is something that we, which is something that we do all the time as creatives. So I've made a change to this logo, maybe I'll move it a little bit, something like that. Now, I wanna save it over, so I'll do save as. Now, I have the same file name as you can see, and it's gonna ask me if I wanna replace the file. Yes, I want to replace the file. Most of us, when we're doing changes to copies of files like JPEGs and stuff, we want to replace it because we don't want to deal with multiple ones. I say replace. It asks me my normal JPEG settings and I save it. And now if I go look in my folder, boom, there you go. Two copies of the file. Now this is one of those things that was driving me nuts. I work with lots of products and lots of different clients and getting all these multiple copies of JPEGs that I was supposed to be replacing was really becoming cumbersome and I was having to go there and change the files and stuff. Not gonna work for me. I'm sure it doesn't work for you. Wanted to show you a fix and a solution on how to get rid of this really annoying bug in Photoshop. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. It's kind of clunky, but it does work and there's two ways you can do it. So let's go back to the computer. The first way is, I have the file here, and just to show you, I have gone through and emptied my folder just to show you again. Now, let's say I go up here, I do file, save as, I do the exact same thing. I'm gonna save this as a JPEG. And we have our file in here, as you can see, is updated at 1043. Okay, so now the key to this is you can't do a file save as from here on out. Adobe has another thing called file export and you can export and get a lot of very common formats and that is the key to get around this weird little bug. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now if you come here, if you see the save as here, now if I come down to export, I got a couple things. The first thing you can do, if you're one of those people that loves working in JPEGs or loves working in PNGs, you can actually set a preference. So this is set pretty much default for you to go. Just come here to export preferences and then you'll be able to set whatever kind of export you want, a PNG, a GIF, or an SFG. I tend to use a lot of photography, so I'm doing JPEGs or PNGs, and for a lot of web stuff for my clients, I'll put it at a quality 90. So for me, I kind of set that, it's a setting, it's good to go. So now when I come back here into File Export, I can do Quick Export, it's a JPEG, boom. And now look at this, one file and one file only. Very, very easy. Now, if you wanna have a little more control over that, I can also do, come back into Photoshop, I can go to File, Export, export as, and this will bring up a dialog box for me that I have certain options as well. I can basically do, if I click on this, I can do a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, like that, same kind of thing. I can set my quality. Let's say I wanna do 90%. I'll put that in right there. Make sure the sizes converts. And if I do export again, I will export here. It asks me to replace it, which is what we want. And it saves it. And if you look here, now the time has changed to 1046. So I've gotten a replace file again. And there's actually one more way to do this that works really well too, if you wanna have some flexibility, and that is file, export, save for web legacy. All right, so we're gonna look at that. 
And as you can see here, we have the save for web legacy. And once again, we have some options. If you're using JPEGs, you can do this here. I have my quality set to 90 once again. And all I got to do is hit save. I want to save it right here. It'll ask me once again, do I want to replace? It replaces it. Yes, I want to replace it. And once again, there is the JPEG. All right, guys, kind of weird, kind of clunky, but I would much rather do that export dialogue than have all these weird files uh, jumped up. This is especially problematic if you're using Adobe Premiere and stuff like that, and you're dynamically linking some of these files. And if you make a change, you just want it to automatically reflect back in your program, and then the name change will kill you, believe me. So it's a quick fix. It's a simple fix, it's a little clunky, but I guarantee you it'll work, and I hope that helps you to go out there and keep on shooting. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions about that. Go out there and uh, keep on shooting.